What's up, nerds and nerdettes and wee little nerdlings all? Your buddy Big Johnny G from Two Gun Pixie Presents Legendary Gaming is back again tonight. Why am I back again tonight? That's a good question. Actually, I'm not even 100% sure. Normally, I would call something like this an unboxing unboxing. You've watched a couple of them when I get a box. we got to open it up to see what's in the box to unbox for you guys. Yeah, same principle, but a little bit different. Today's almost like a an unboxing. Bagging unboxing or an unenveloping unboxing, I guess. Anyway, so this is what happened. I got home from work today. Yeah, real life sucks. I have an actual job. I got home from work today and I checked my mailbox and there was something in there addressed to Two Gun Pixie. My name and Two Gun Pixie's name attached to it. I hadn't ordered anything, much less ordered anything under the company name. So it really piqued my interest. I know there's a couple of game publishers out there that send me things. And that's the only thing I could think of is uh, why Two Gun Pixie would be on the mail. So, this is what I got in the mail today. And I figured, why don't we do a real mystery unboxing unboxing again and let everyone get to see just what I'm seeing, all right? Like I said, I, I haven't ordered anything in a while. N none of the publishers that I'm currently uh, working with uh, has told me that they were going to be sending me anything. And I can't understand why it would say Two Gun Pixie otherwise. Ready? All right. Yeah. Feels like a box, all right. What? Eh, 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 eh. All right. So that wasn't as smooth as I thought it was. Ah. Oh. <laughs> well, are you getting this? Death Bot Derby by Royal End Games. Uh, oh, hold on a second. Hey, just hold on a second. There we go. All the way up top in the sci-fi section. All right, so I actually got this uh, beta copy uh, just before Gen Con 26 in order to uh, to do a review for it. And this is just a beta copy, and uh, we, we ended up loving the heck out of this game. Uh, it looks like the final product is now here. All right, so uh, why don't we get this unboxed? I, I wasn't uh, expecting this. Let me go get. Let me go get Fu. Fu's off in the side, in the side over here, here, hiding. He doesn't like to be seen when he doesn't have to be. Let me get my main man, Fu Manchu. Gesundheit. tight. All right, here we go. I am dying to see the finished product. Now, me and the Twenty Sided Warriors have played this a bunch of times. There is a playthrough. I'll put a link to it, and there's a written review I did before I started doing the videos. So I'll provide the links to those down in the description section so you can look, look those up. But let's take a look at the final copy. Actually, you know what? Why don't we take a look at the final copy versus this? Now, this was a good box for a beta. Uh, not perfect. Definitely seen better. But for a beta version, just a test copy to send out to try to get some, uh, some heat and some speed behind the game, this was, this was really good. But this final box is beautiful. Sturdy. The colors are really popping. I I'm totally digging this. So why don't we use my big paws to try to open up this wee tiny box. Ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Oh, most. Got it. There we go. Okay. Remember the rules read really simple, they were easy to follow. So here goes the rule book that you're going to get. Now uh, the original test copy was actually only a two player game. They did so good on their Kickstarter they were able to make a few changes to the game that were, I don't know, maybe only a, a dream at the time, but they, they did really good on Kickstarter. The booklet is great, this is great condition book. The pages uh, are in great condition, but you know what, from what I remember the rules, after you learn the rules, you're probably not going to be using this book any, very much uh, at all anymore, probably, because it's very, very uh, simple, very streamlined idea. Oh, okay, okay. Now, for the test copy, this is what we got on the test copy, and, which is good enough, right? Which is good enough. You got your red robot, your blue robot represented. So that was okay. 
Now, Zach Connolly, the creator of the game, was talking about these robot meeples for a while. They made uh, their kick fun. They were able to get them done. So not only is it a four-player game, but they made these robits, as uh, Zach calls them, the robot meeples. I think they look awesome. These are really cool, good quality, nice and wood. If you if you if it's not wood, they definitely did a good job imitating it there. But yeah, these are wood, very good pieces. Let's see what else we got in here. Standard die. All right, you're gonna actually, if I remember correctly, you only need that for one thing, unless there was a change in the final rule. And the other thing that this comes with are the cards. Pardon me, foo. Let's see. Now, the card quality originally for the test product was good. There was a lines were a bit off, but they were good, good quality for what it was. Now, the final product on these double sided cards. Oh, these are nice. They feel good in your hand, they look good. Now, as you see, they're, they're double-sided, and that's what the die is for. That's what the die is for. There's a, uh, it's got to be here somewhere. Where is that panic button? I know that panic button is in here. But there's a, there's a panic button that each player gets, and when you do that, you get to take the die, and you roll it. If it comes up, uh, we don't have one out. If it came out a uh, three, then the threes would flip over. Boom. That's why they're double-sided. So these cards look great. They feel good in your hand. They're smooth. They don't get stuck together. And the robots, the red, the yellow, the green, and the blue. Very cool. You got your robot parts. Because in this game, you're building your robot before the battle. These are really cool. Mr. Zach Conley, uh, the final product is definitely looking good. Oh, yeah. And the little information card on the other side that's the panic button i was talking about now i i would be planning on doing a how to play however next week i'm going to be at lunacon and zach Conley's going to be there as well i've met him a couple of times he's a really nice guy so i'll tell you guys what before i do a how to play why don't we wait a week and see if we can get Zach Connolly at Lunacon, the creator of the game himself, to show you guys how it's played. You guys think that's a good idea? Is that a thumb up? That's two pixie thumbs up? There's going to be little, little thumbs. All right. And uh, that's, that's it. That's everything in the box. Now, if I remember correctly, this was going, uh, uh, and I'm sure Zach will correct me, and I'll make an addendum if I'm wrong. I believe this whole thing was $20. I believe uh, that was with shipping at the time. Uh, it's It was a really fun game, but you're going to have to wait for the full review for that. But for right now, that's what's in the Pixies mystery box today is Deathbot Derby, Royal End Games. Four-player game should take about 30 minutes or less. All right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this mystery unboxing as much as I did. Your buddy, Big Johnny G, for Two-Gun Pixie Present, and I am out of here.